just woke up and I was so shocked. Hey dolls and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome, welcome. And my name is Therese and on this channel, I talk everything skincare and beauty. So if you're looking for the most honest reviews or try on, on an ordinary consumer standpoint then don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll always be updated once a new review or skincare video is out also feel free to comment down below on what you want me to review next time or do swatches so on this video i'm going to do a review and swatches on this nyx shine loud lipsticks I've been seeing this all over TikTok and people are raving about them because this claims to be super long wearing and it's a very timely product since most of us are still wearing a mask every time we go out and this claims to be mask proof. So there's a lot of shade range with this lipstick. They actually have 24 shades and on this video, I'll be swatching 12 of them. So half of the collection will be on this video. I have to say that I only got two of them from the drugstore and the rest I had to order online on the NYX.ca website. But ordering from the site is actually really good. I ordered them Cyber Monday because of the sale and then I got it shipped to me Thursday. So there's only three days of waiting so I didn't mind it. So so if you have shades that you can find from the drugstore, you can easily find it on their website. So let's start with the claims of this lipstick. So I'm going to read this from their website. So based on their website, it says, This are ultra pigmented lip color with up to 16 hours no transfer wear. Lightweight and comfy on the lips. It also has a vegan formula that delivers one swipe loud color with an ultra glossy, non sticky shine finish. They also claim that it doesn't budge, it doesn't bleed, and it doesn't fade. You can kiss, drink, hair flip, even wear it under your mask. It's also infused with macadamia seed oil coriander fruit oil, jojoba seed oil, apricot kernel oil, passion fruit seed oil, infused with vitamin E derivative. So as you can see, it's dual ended. So on this side is their high pigment base. And on the other side, which is the gloss side, is their non-sticky top coat. So before I show you the swatches of this lipsticks, I just have to tell you that before putting it on, you have to have clean lips. You can't have any lip balms on because if you do, it's not really gonna adhere to your lips. And I tried it, I put on a lip balm first before this because that's what I usually do with my liquid lipstick so it doesn't look very dry. But if you put lip balm before putting this, the base coat wouldn't really stick on your lips and it will just pile up and it would peel easily so so one of my favorite shades from the line is the ambitious statement so we're gonna put it on they say to put it on first and then don't let your lips like touch each other and wait for around 10 seconds and then apply the gloss when I applied the second coat, I actually was stretching my lips just so I can make sure that the lines in between my lips are also covered. You have to be warned, it can go onto your teeth. So I just fanned my lips with my hands and waited from 10 to 15 seconds. It's so little damp after 20 seconds. When the pigment was dry to the touch, I started applying the top coat, which looks like a gloss. Now let's do the kiss test. Oh yeah, it's just the gloss. Crazy. And there's still gloss on here. Now let's use my mask. It's also mask proof. I'm going to update you in a bit when I eat and drink and at the end of the day I'm going to shower and let's see if this is also waterproof. 
So I'll see you. So let's start swatching. Goal Crusher. Born to Hustle Ambition Statement Boundary Pusher Life Goals Lead everything. Never basic. charge. Rebel in red. On a mission. And here are my favorite shades. Gold Crusher, Founder Pusher, Magic Maker, Ambition Statement, Life Goals, Rebel in Red. So when using the NYX Shine Loud Lipstick, you really have to use both of them. You always have to seal it with a gloss or what they call the top coat because if you don't seal it with a top coat, it's going to be sticky all day. It's not really going to dry. So you really have to use both of this in conjunction with each other. And you can't use just an ordinary clear lip gloss. You really have to use the top coat that comes with your Shine Loud lipstick.
You might be wondering how to remove this off. I actually tried just using a micellar water, but it takes so much effort to remove it just with the micellar water. You can. So if you have a oil-based cleanser, the one that you use for pre-cleanse, that would be ideal. I have the Innisfree Jeju Volcanic Blackout Balm, which I actually use as my pre-cleanse. It's more of an oil base, so it looks solid, but once you put it on your face or put it on your lip, it actually turns to liquid. So I'm just gonna remove the first layer with just a tissue. And as you can see, there's still a lot on there. So I would put the balm. And you also need to concentrate on the edges. Because if it touches your skin, it's actually harder to remove it on your skin than on your lips. So I'm going to put more balm. And really put some on the edges. And then you put a cotton pad and you soak it with the micellar water. Just make sure that you leave the balm on there for a bit and then you use the cotton pad with micellar water to remove it. And do you see what I mean? If it touches your skin, it's harder to remove. So with the edges, I have to like do a circular motion. My lip smells kind of raw from all that rubbing and cleaning, so just make sure that you put a lip balm after using this lip product. So here are my final thoughts with this lipstick. I really love the shade range. I can't wait to try the other 12, but with what I have, I had a lot of favorites. It really is hard to narrow them down because a lot of them really complemented my skin tone. When it comes to their claims that it doesn't budge, it doesn't bleed, for sure it wouldn't. It would stay wherever you put it on. And even if you swipe it, it wouldn't go anywhere on your face. It would just stay where you put it on. So when it comes to their claim of no budge and no bleeding, that is 100% true. Kissing, for sure, it's also kiss proof. Let's test if this is kiss proof. <laughs> Approved. It's also mask proof. And it also stays on even after drinking and eating. wearability so actually on the website it says 16 hour no transfer wear so i'm thinking is it no transfer for 16 hours or is it a 16 hour wear i'm going to tackle both of them so 16 hour no transfer wear for sure it wouldn't transfer for 16 hours but 16 hours on your lips meaning 16 hour wearability I find that the lighter shades is not as long wearing as the darker shade. This is in the shade Ambition Statement and I find that when I use this and when I eat and drink, some parts of the lipstick will peel off. Like you can still see the pigments on my lips but you can see some parts not having the pigment on. But with this shade, this is the shade Rebel in Red. I could eat, I could drink, I could bathe, and the next day- okay, So I'm gonna wash my face now. Obviously it's very waterproof. And the next day, it would still be on. Good morning. I just woke up 
and I was so shocked because I don't look like I just woke up I look like I'm ready to go face my day because of this red lipstick it's still on can't believe this is the next day and it's still on like I can see that there's no more lipstick here and when I really look up close and like stretch it like there's no lipstick in between the lines but if I don't do that and just relax my lips it is still on 16 hour wear test on this shade rebel red approved and i'm not sure if it's because the pigment is really bold and out there and that's why it's long wearing but this is just an observation that I found when using this lipstick. Also, when I'm applying this lipstick on, I try to stretch my lips and then apply it on. Because if your lips are not stretched, like you know the lines of your lips, sometimes it wouldn't be covered with pigment. So sometimes you can see like the crack lines on there. So it's better if you really like stretch your lips and make sure that you evenly distribute the pigment. Now that the wearability is out of the way, let's also discuss their claim on delivery of one swipe log color with an ultra glossy non-sticky shine finish. Yes, the one swipe you'll have the pigment on. But again, with the lighter shades, like the color is there, but when it dries down, sometimes you really need to put another coat because i don't know it would just fade easily compared to the darker colors and when it comes to its non-stickiness it's actually really not sticky and the top coat which is the gloss would fade over time and if you're missing that glossy feeling on your lips you can just reapply it on so if i'm going to rate this product i'm going to rate this four out of five the one star you already know it's because the lighter shades doesn't really stay longer than the darker shades but that's the only fault that i could see with this lipstick again i really really like the color on this collection i'm actually very surprised especially with the new colors because when you look at it you're like oh with this really work on my lips and then you put it on you'll be in awe on how it would complement your skin tone and i find that a lot of the shades can be worn by fair complexion medium complexion and dark complexion so i really like that about this collection and i also like that it's very long wearing yes the lighter ones doesn't last as long as the darker ones it would still last you up to six hours and six hours is still a long time and it's not hard to reapply both the top coat and the base coat is in just one container and it's easy to put it in your purse so i really like that about it if you've been thinking of getting yourself the shine loud lipstick i hope that this video helped you in choosing the right shade for you and if it did Please don't forget to like this video, don't forget to subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you'll always be updated once a new video is out. Thank you so, so much, Thals, again for watching, and I'll see you on my next one.